Let's go across the country now to California. ABC's Matt Gutman is tracking some wild weather out there. Matt. Hey, Stephanie, we are talking about record rain and almost in biblical proportions. Obviously, that has created flash flooding uh, and regular flooding all across California. And, you know, we came here early this morning and we were just down the way. We couldn't actually see what had happened here, but we saw that the flash flood had gouged out 10 feet over there of sediment. Here it's about 15 feet. I'm going to cross over, hopefully not fall. And uh, I just want to give you a sense of the scale here. This was basically somebody's backyard. That flash flooding took out this wall, part of the housing. You can see the roof over there cantilevered precariously over still. And where we are right now, um, this was basically people's backyards. They parked cars here. They had little gardens. And now it's this canyon with a creek flowing through it. Now, earlier, I'm going to have the camera spin around. Um, even as of late last night, this whole thing was basically an enormous river about 10 feet deep, uh, taking everything with it as it coursed uh, through this community of Lake Elsinore, which is under its sixth mandatory evacuation in just a couple of months. But other places in California, so hard hit. We have those images out of Sausalito in Marin County that landslide taking out a couple of houses. In Palm Springs, there are these incredible images of what is normally a desert engulfed in an ocean of white water. Uh, cars disappearing as they are um, just swept down river. Nobody was hurt in that car. Apparently the people had escaped, but the car obviously destroyed. And across the hilly and mountainous areas here in Southern California, uh, what had been just small drainage ditches turned into these roaring waterfalls. This one just gouging out a massive hunk out of that road. So dozens of communities affected here. We're talking about record rain over a foot of it in Sonoma County. I mean, that's like tropical types of rain. That's the kind of thing that you see in the Gulf of Mexico, not in what had been drought stricken California. We are already at well over 100 percent of the rain total for an average year here in California, which is very good news for people. Um, and of course, the drought concerns not so good for people living in these communities. And they have suffered, especially places like this, like Elsinore, um, places that have been fire prone have suffered tremendously over the past several months or a year or more. Lake Elsinore had that holy fire in um, a couple of months ago, and this is its sixth mandatory evacuation, as I mentioned. So people have been forced to leave first because of fire concerns and then because of rain and flooding. And so officials now are really concerned about evacuation fatigue. They're saying that they have reports that only 25 percent of the residents here actually evacuated when ordered to, which means that by staying, they could possibly endanger themselves and, of course, first responders who are trying to get to them. But there's not that much that folks can do. It costs money. It takes time to evacuate each time they're ordered to. And I think many folks here just say, well, we're just going to wait and see comes come what may uh, and hope for the best because they just can't afford to leave yet again. Stephanie. Just incredible images there. Thank you very much for that, Matt. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.